After a destructive tornado occurs, the National Weather Service surveys the damage to estimate the tornado's wind speeds. The tornadoes are then rated by their intensity using the EF scale, from the weakest EF zeros to the rare, incredibly powerful EF fives. In this video, we'll observe examples of each, as well as the damage each rated tornado can cause. Not all tornadoes have the strength to cause severe destruction. In fact, about 75% of tornadoes in the USA are relatively weak falling in the EF0 to EF1 range. A tornado rated EF0 has wind speeds estimated between 65 to 85 miles per hour. They can cause light roof damage, including damage to gutters or siding, break branches off trees, push over shallow rooted trees, and mess up hairdos. Somebody's trampoline. EF1 rated tornadoes are stronger with estimated wind speeds from 86 to 110 miles per hour. They cause moderate damage such as roofs severely stripped, exterior doors ripped off and broken windows. Cars are moved and mobile homes are badly damaged or overturned. Just because a tornado gets a low rating doesn't mean that tornado is small. Have a look at this one kilometer wide EF1 near Denton, Texas. There is no signature appearance for any of the EF ratings. All categories manifest themselves in arrays of shapes and widths. EF2s cause considerable damage with estimated wind speeds between 111 and 135 miles per hour. Roofs are torn off well-constructed houses. Mobile homes are completely destroyed. Large trees snapped and cars are lifted off the ground. Here's a lawnmower. I don't even know where it came from. Tornadoes rated EF2 and above are labeled significant tornadoes. Day of severe weather forecasts by the Storm Prediction Center give probabilities for the chance of tornadoes. If conditions suggest a risk for EF2s or larger, the Storm Prediction Center gives that area a special heads up outlined in black. EF3s have estimated wind speeds from 136 to 165 miles per hour. They cause severe damage to well-constructed houses and large buildings. Trains are overturned, trees debarked, heavy cars are tossed, and structures with weak foundations are blown away some distance. This is the Sulphur, Oklahoma EF3 that occurred on May 9, 2016. This monster grew to 1.4 miles wide and mobile radar recorded wind speeds over 200 miles per hour. So why didn't this tornado get a higher rating? Remember, tornadoes are rated by the damage they create and this tornado tracked over mostly open terrain with few structures to impact. Had its strongest winds hit a well-built house, this tornado would have likely earned an EF5. So basically, if the core of a tornado harboring winds over 200 miles per hour at the surface doesn't hit any structures, but its outer bands knocked over the lawn chair you left out at the fishing hole, that tornado gets an EF0. Tornadoes with wind speeds estimated from 166 to 200 miles per hour cause devastating damage in our rated EF4s. Well-constructed houses are completely leveled. Structures with weak foundations are blown away. Cars are thrown. This EF-4 ripped an entire roof off its walls and tossed the obliterated bulk 100 meters into the air. Suspended roof trusses and 2x4s whirled around the tornado like feathers, eventually becoming heavy missiles slamming back into the earth. After a tornado occurs, various locations of assessed damage are given EF ratings. The entire tornado earns its most severe rating even if that intensity is only a tiny fraction of the damage swath. EF5s have estimated wind speeds over 200 miles per hour. The damage from these monsters is incredible. Often at an impact site, there's nothing to see because nothing is there. Strong framed houses are lifted off foundations and carried considerable distances to disintegrate. There's nothing left. 
automobile-sized missiles fly through the air farther than 100 meters. Even steel-reinforced concrete structures are badly damaged. In southern Kansas, there's one town that's oddly new. That's because in 2007, it took a direct hit from an EF-5 wider than the town itself. 95% of Greensburg was destroyed. Empty lots and debarked trees are the ghostly reminders as the town rebuilds.